without contrast, we have no perspective. We could never understand who we are or who we're not. Living many lives in one life does not mean you are lost. If anything, it means you've gotten to know so many parts of yourself because we are not one-dimensional beings. Therefore, with great beauty, there is harshness, and sometimes with great adventures, there's dirt. Let's go be dirty nomads together. We are now in Moab. We traveled all the way from Salt Lake City to Provo and then from Provo to Moab. Yesterday we hiked a beautiful trail and then we camped overnight out in the middle of nowhere. Today, we didn't really have anywhere to go or stay because my sister didn't really have proper, proper place to sleep. So we realized it's way too expensive to stay in Moab and this is why you don't last minute plan like we did. Uh, so we had to find a hotel an hour out and even then it's still up there in price. I couldn't find a place in Moab for less than $200 a night. Um, a lot of people out here uh, all have converted vehicles in four x four. So it's really cool with the community, but they also like sleep out of the vehicles and stuff, but can't really do that right now with my sister being here. So we're going to go an hour out and stay at a motel down in, what was it called? Do you remember? Monticello. Monticello. I'm, I'm quite gross and dirty. I need a shower, but that's, that's cheap life. I read that for water to be properly hydrated, you need to put in trace minerals. So I got some and I just put it in all my water now because you got to stay hydrated out here. Also, this is my succulent, on the road succulent, still alive. <laughs> That gets deep! We have to stay around this area because she's leaving from this area, but we can't afford the hotels. So we're trying to be creative. Um, I can sleep in my Jeep, just me, but she can't. So we're going to try, <laughs> we have this plan that we're going to go back to Moab and camp, but we're going to try to find some blankets or something at the thrift store so she can sleep somewhere. <laughs> and I'll sleep in my Jeep in the middle and out in the desert so we can sleep for free. This could not work at all, considering this is reliant on how much um, we can find at the thrift store. So let me live in a little dirtbag life in Moab, and I don't want to go after that. So that's what we're doing today. I slept most of the day today. I'm exhausted um, being in the sun. It's very intense here. <laughs> it's so long. <laughs> You tie these together. Yeah, I know. This one. Oh. No, you're right. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> 
Well, maybe this can go in the middle. So we had a semi-success at the thrift store. I got a hat, number one, 100% wool, and it fits my head as much as a hat's going to fit my head. And we got baby pads to put down for Daisy to sleep on overall, and then we got a blanket. So overall on her accommodation, we spent $14. So hopefully she will survive the night with our $14 makeshift camping pad and blanket. And hopefully no snakes crawl in with now. her. We're finally leaving here and um, we're gonna stop at a couple places, petroglyphs, canyons, you know, and then we'll get there. I'm here in front of the New Super Rock petroglyphs. Uh, they're about 2000 years old and they're not exactly sure if they're doodles or if they have storytelling or meaning behind them. They don't know the meaning, but it's very interesting to see just right in front of your eyes, like history, just like that. And the things that they saw and drew and recorded so long ago. We're back at the campsite that we were the other day, and now we begin our adventure of being dirt bags out in Moab. So we also stopped at a thrift store and a sporting goods store, whatever. We wanted to try some astronaut food. So we got some Rocky Mountain Scramble, and we got this just for fun, even though both of us don't really eat this kind of food. <laughs> it's a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich. So we're gonna try that tonight. But I'll show you what I got at the thrift store. I got this linen, 100% pure linen skirt. I didn't try it on, so hopefully it fits me, but it's very deserty. It might be too big for me. My sister got a free pillow at the thrift store as well. So all this stuff is gonna be right here on the ground and we're gonna set this all up. We drove quite a bit around in, in the hot sun. So I had to stop at the Colorado River and get an ice bath real fast because I was just way overheated and that took a really long time to drive out there. Um, but it felt really good. Here now at our new home for the next few days and hopefully all this goes well. Hopefully my sister survives on the ground. I do have my kimchi broth I could put in it. I wasn't recording, but we just tried our ice cream sandwich. It comes like this. Very yummy.
I gotta do that for every meal. There'll be two holes. <laughs> Don't worry, we got some all tied already. <laughs> Well, one part should be underneath. Like roll it. I'm gonna wrap myself in it. Uh, judge of this. So you're gonna. Yeah, that's not really. Real drops of rain. The thing is, the width of a car is not a body width. All right. Let's see if she survives. She has her legs right under my exhaust pipe and all of her stuff underneath there. This is how you free camp like a dirt bag. No answer anything. There is a bug crawling in. Crawling me over me. I think it's just a big ant. Put my curtains right here because the sun this morning just like full force like came and attacked me. I was trying to take a nap um, after sleeping, which the sleep was okay. Um, I was worried a lot through the night of my sister because I didn't want her to get eaten by coyotes or something, which doesn't sound realistic, but when you're out in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night, you have a lot of weird thoughts about things. The thing is, is the temperature is not like like crazy. It's probably in the 70s, but the sun is so intense that it feels so scalding hot. The desert's very different than how I grew up, but I really like it. I really love the desert. I don't know, Moab especially is incredibly beautiful and it is worth it to come here, even if you do have to sleep in your vehicle because it's too expensive to get accommodation because so many people are, um, it's not weird for me to sleep in my vehicle here or to have a converted vehicle because everyone does. And if you don't, then you're either on vacation and wealthy or you live here and you're super wealthy. <laughs> so there's a weird mixture of people, but they're all after the same thing. And that is seeing the beauty of the nature here. Moab is a very small town. Um, you're not here for the city life and you're here to explore this beautiful area, which is one of the most beautiful areas I've been in. It's difficult sleeping out of your vehicle for extended periods of time. And I had to be careful of myself because I don't want to burn myself out. And that's why I get accommodation places because sleeping out of my Jeep, for example, is a lot more difficult than sleeping out of like a van. And I don't have a full size bed. I don't have the facilities that a full size converted vehicle has. So I had to be careful not to burn myself out. Today, I really want to get to the gym get in a workout finally and then I need to go to the library and sort my life out because I have a, no idea what I'm doing after this and I feel a lot of I guess anxiety inside myself I want I want to challenge myself to be able to stay at places like this alone I'm still with my sister she's leaving in a couple of days she slept all right on the ground as well we both woke up a lot of times it only rained a tiny bit and she didn't really get wet so it all worked but she's leaving and I have to decide do I want to keep doing this by myself here or do I want to move on to a different place and continue to still do this by myself sometimes if I stay in one area and I'm just alone it's terrifying because humans are herd animals if you want to brain hack hack your brain into thinking more time has passed than it really has travel do new experiences you will extend your life exponentially it is insane how you can extend your life I feel like this past month has been three years I just dropped my sister off at the library and I'm going, I'm at the gym now. There's like one gym in this town and I'm gonna get a workout in, but this is the heat of the day. So staying in establishments during this time is the best because it gets really, really hot. Now 
gonna need to go back to the library and do some internet work and a lot of sponsorship work, a lot of different deals I'm supposed to be on top of, but I'm not. We just went to the water and I went in the the river again and the water is freezing cold because it's coming down from the mountains and it's super dirty. I thought it would make me cleaner, but I think it made me dirtier. <laughs> just with dirt. I'm I'm dirty, dirty, but I'm not like dirty. I got some wonderful cottage cheese with pineapple and some almonds. Lots of eggs and stuff. Nice background. Ooh, I'm so tired of doing this thing every single day. I got shower water for the morning. I'm gonna use my portable shower and collapsible bucket and use this to shower with. I'm so excited to shower. <laughs> they go. You gotta get yourself a little bit more under there tonight. Kick up my exhaust again. You're like you're like one less than uh, living out of your car. You live under the car. I live under people's cars. People's cars. Yeah. I just sneak in and I yeah. you have you have like permanent oil all over all over you. <laughs> Beautiful morning again, of course. I slept better last night than I did the other night. And I think my sister did too. It got a little bit colder, but the stars were out the whole night and it was gorgeous. And I smell bad. That's the update. I need to shower. I really, really do. Um, I'm not used to not showering. Like I like to shower every day usually, but I can go two days without showering, but three days without showering. <laughs> actually need. I mean, I'm going to shave as well. Yes, I'm being very ambitious. Um, I put that on first. And, <laughs> oh, no, dirty soap. So it's cold and hot at the same time. All right, I'm just going to show you the brief process, then I'm going to do all this. Okay, so that uses quite a bit of water. I'm going to use that for the final final rinse and to wash my hair. I'm going to do all this other stuff, and I'll be right back. Got it all. It's definitely an ice shower. This is so bad. Anyways, sticks are terrestrial. Uh, bye. <laughs> 